I'm going to try to tell you very quickly a bunch of the reasons why I think that investigating miscarriage to determine whether or not it was actually an abortion is a terrible idea. First of all, I and Secular Pro-Life and a lot of pro-life organizations and currently all pro-life laws do not desire to treat women who get abortions as murderers, much less women who lose their children through miscarriage. That's kind of a whole separate topic and I talked about it in this video recently if you want to check it out. But even supposing totally incorrectly, that all pro-lifers want to treat women who get abortions as murderers. Investigating every pregnancy loss to determine which ones were on purpose or not is still a really terrible idea. First of all, back of the envelope calculation, there is something between 750,000 and a million miscarriages a year in the United States, and something between 600,000 and 900,000 abortions. So you're looking at something between 1.3 million and 1.9 million instances of pregnancy loss that potentially would need to be investigated. In contrast, the CDC found in 2021 that there were something like 250 50,000 deaths that would need to be investigated by law enforcement. So that includes homicides, suicides, death by accidental injury, mostly. If law enforcement were suddenly responsible for investigating known pregnancy losses to see if they were on purpose or not, we would be increasing their annual investigations by like 800%. The increases in the staff, in the time, in the resources it would take to make that happen would be staggering, unbelievably, breathtakingly expensive. And we would know going in that at least half of these investigations would be harassing and maybe re-traumatizing hundreds of thousands of parents at the moment when they are going through the emotional crisis of having lost their children through miscarriage. Even if you're willing to accept what I consider that very high cost, keep in mind that it still wouldn't result in a very efficient use of resources to identify people getting abortions. Most abortions are done via pills, and currently there is no way to detect the presence of abortion pills in a woman's system. This is why abortion advocates will tell women who take the pills that if they go to the emergency room for complications, they can just say they're having a miscarriage. The medical staff and certainly police would not be able to tell the difference. Keep in mind too that we know that our justice system has an error rate, which means not only do a lot of guilty people end up going free, but some innocent people end up being incarcerated. We try to set up the justice system to very much favor guilty going free over innocent being punished, but there's still always some mistakes. If our baseline setup was to investigate every pregnancy loss, you will have some people who did not get abortions, who just lost their children through miscarriage, that will be arrested, potentially charged, potentially go to jail. It will happen. Now, this doesn't mean we just get rid of the entire justice system because it has error rates. I mean, some people think that we should, but most people recognize that we try to minimize the errors and still have some kind of workable system so that we can handle when people commit crimes. But we do try to find a balance between having a system that's able to respond to criminal activity and try to do something about it versus having the system be so powerful that more and more innocent people get swept up in it. Keep in mind, too, that if it was standard to investigate every pregnancy loss, whether women are getting abortions or having miscarriages or having some other problem with their pregnancy, they will be afraid to go to a hospital. So I've lost two children through miscarriage, and sometimes when I talk about that, abortion supporters will say something like, oh, so do you think you should have to be investigated because you had a miscarriage to make sure it wasn't an abortion? And I will say, no, I don't think I should be investigated. I don't think other women experiencing pregnancy loss should be investigated. I think the idea of investigation as a standard response to pregnancy loss is an atrocious idea. 